With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, let's start the question. The question is, a capacitor in LC auxiliary circuit has a maximum potential of V volts and maximum energy E. When the capacitor has potential V1 volts and the energy E1 joules, what is the EMF across the inductor and the energy stored in the magnetic field? So, let this is the capacitor and uh, there is an inductor. This is the circuit. This is C, this is L. And it is said that the potential difference across the capacitor is V1. So, let this is, if this is 0, then it will be V1. So, this is the potential difference across capacitor and the energy stored in the capacitor is given E1. So, this will be equal to half C V1 square. This is the energy stored in the capacitor. Now, we have to find the potential across this L and the energy stored in the magnetic field. So, If this is the potential difference across C, then the potential across this point and this points will be same. So here this will be 0 and here this will be V1. So the potential difference across the inductor is V1 and the energy. So you know that the energy is conserved in the LC circuit. Energy is conserved in LC circuit. So if the total energy is E, then it will be the energy of capacitor plus energy of inductance. So capacitor energy is given by E1 and we have to find the energy of the inductor. So the energy stored in the inductor will be equal to E minus E1. This is this E is the total energy stored in the system LC and E1 is the energy stored in the capacitor. So the potential across the inductor is V1 and the energy stored is E minus E1. So the correct option is fourth one. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.